Carol Baskin? I'm Carol Baskin. Does the name Joseph Maldonado Passage mean anything to you? He is a psychopath who wishes me dead. We've been in an ongoing dispute oh. with Joe. I'm sorry, I understand this must be very hard for you. You play a man who is so understanding and so compassionate of and careful of his wife. She's in a rough spot, a very rough, a deadly spot. Yeah. And you know, she has a past. Um, and was he it was he really like that? Did you know him? Was he that compassionate? You know, I I never met him. Oh. Um, but I did watch, obviously I watched the documentary and then I watched some of the YouTube videos that he put out, um, in a couple in particular where he was really defending her, uh, telling her his side of the story, their side of the story, um, you know, saying if you knew, had spent any time with Carol, you would know that she's this, this kind of person. You just feel the, the, the compassion he has, the love that he has for her the uh the sensitivity he's a sensitive guy even when he's speaking you know he'll sometimes you'll get he'll, he'll tear up a little bit and i just yeah. feel like he just has a somehow he just has this tremendous undercurrent of of empathy really and of understanding and so that was an important part of bringing him to the page you know on the other hand there's also those moments when you're not so you know pathic and you feel a little bit like hey maybe i'm maybe i'm being taken advantage of, or things aren't quite right. When we have a couple of nice scenes in the in the show where that comes out as well. So, um, but I think ultimately, yeah, he is an understanding and compassionate person. I really feel like I was put on this earth to rescue cats. Welcome to the best exotic animal show in these United States. This is who we've been after: documented animal abuser Joe Exotic. We're coming for you. Um, you know, the, the show really, sh as the previous, as the podcast and the series and documentary uh, show, there are many issues at play here. There's animal rights. There's, um, you know, man's cruelty to man, for heaven's sakes. He targeted Carol so viciously. And, you know, I'm glad he's been put away. But it, it really raises a lot of stuff. Did you feel yeah. that, it, that it did it thoroughly? Um Yes, and I think um, the writer going back and, and re revisiting the journey was also intent on um, expanding the 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 why, you know, and he did that by a series of flashbacks going back to periods of time in both Joe's and Carol's life um, that were turning points, you know, and, and, and moments of... of um, uh, violence and and change and transition that were impactful, I think, and, and I think influenced them and helped make them the kind of people that we we first encountered during the documentary. Um, mm -hmm. we, we also have the pleasure, and it was fun, to go back and revisit um, when Howard and Carol met for the first time and the kind of the, the awkward moment of, hey, this is kind of an interesting person and Oh, they're sort of nerdy, and and so it was really fun to play to play that kind of because by that time it was very late in filming, and you know, and, and Kate and I knew each other really, really well, and here we had to go back and sort of pretend like, oh my God, I'm seeing you for the first time, you know, and uh, and it was a lot of fun. I've had to fight for everything I got. I didn't even know you had a husband. Almost twelve years. I come from a home that didn't feel like. A sanctuary. When there are no more animals in cages, then there will be no more need for us to rescue them. Someone's got to kill that bitch. I'm sure you've always been uh, concerned about animal rights, but did, did did this experience sort of expand that for you? No, I I just can't stand cruelty um, okay. to to just particularly to animals. It's just beyond me. Um, and we have, you know, and it's brought back home every day. We're sort of involved with some rescue organizations in Los Angeles. We have a rescue dog. And my wife and I often will just sort of stop and say, I wonder what, we have a little dog um, named Bailey, you know, what, what Bailey's life was like before. Because she gets oh. nothing but love now. She's just a complete, and she's <laughs> relaxed from a very scared and skittish and afraid of men primarily to yeah. now she's still occasionally she will if it's something new but she is turned into this little love dog um so it's very gratifying but it also you just there are so many animals that are just they don't have that they don't have that life you know what i mean and it's very mm -hmm. tragic 
So it's war. It's war. We're gonna make a family at this park. No one can say a damn thing about it. Here's to the unwanted animal! And it ain't just about the cats. Spoiler alert. So how many people are gonna see this little documentary of yours? You wanna blow some shit up? He shot me. Bang, bang, bang. Three times. He shot you. Technically, it was a blow-up doll of me. We're ready to roll. This is a show. I can sell this. America is gonna love you. I will never stop. If you've got any dirt on this woman, I want to hear about it. He has no idea what I've been through in my life. Is this awesome or ridiculous? Individually, we are a whimper. But together, we are a roar. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Carol Baskin, you see me now? Oh, Lord. I always thought cat people were a little weird. <laughs> <laughs>